John knows he's still. You know, I've already voiced my opinions about this at the last board meeting and through emails to the board members. I feel it's imperative to, to provide the legal representation to protect the employees of the district when they've simply done their jobs. We've heard angry people from the community demanding, demanding that the board throw your fellow board members to the wolves. By extension, this would also require you to throw Superintendent Harder and Associate Superintendent Gambler to the same wolves. Would these people demand the same if it was one of their own employees or family members? We've had even read and heard where some members of the community think that making threats against you is the way to win you over to their side of the argument. We've experienced where some people will threaten you, and if you fail to do exactly what they demand from you, they'll have you recalled. I'm not saying that that's not a kind of threat, but does that really work? I think you think we've elected anyone who would cower in fear every time a disgruntled member of the community threatens it. Provide the legal representation for the right reasons. First, these people were simply doing their jobs they were asked to do. Second, no one has made any formal allegations of wrongdoing against them. And third, no one has yet to find where anyone or the district has done anything wrong or illegal. As what we have are people who have taken a dislike to an individual member of the board. They may not like having to pay for the new schools their kids will attend, or they may be upset because their favorite charter school failed to, make the, to meet the necessary requirements to be given the charter. Some take exception to the fact that he, Mr. Ramsey who wants to have an attorney represent him that's highly qualified and that he trusts, or they may just dislike him as a person. But all of those things have nothing to do with the reasons for providing a legal representation for an employee in the district. As a board, you provide representation because they were doing their jobs and they've done nothing wrong. And that's the long and the short. The next speaker is the way Miranda Hughes. My name is Ben Steinberg. Um, simply put, I think it's a mischaracterization to say that the community is upset and angry about what's happening because they dislike someone. There is a long history of people coming to this room and this board and hearing concerns about transparency, accountability. It's a very frustrating process for this community to continue to have to come to the board and beg our public servants to tell us what they're doing with our money. It is not because I have any predisposition or dislike of any one individual. I want public entities to function in an effective way. I really don't have anything to add to Mr. Anton's uh, comments or to Mr. Chamberlain's. Uh, I think they speak for themselves. I highly encourage the board to listen uh, to their wise words of advice. Thank you. Good evening, board. 
let's go again. So I want to talk to you as a uh, former chairman of the Bond Oversight Committee and as an eight-year member of the Budget Advisory Committee, I want you to understand that what you're asking is a very low item of you know, a, a small amount of legal fees out of your overall budget. And by defending, taking an actual position where you're defending yourselves, whether there is right or wrong, and what the SEC is looking at, you're taking a proactive stance in protecting your assets, which are $1.6 billion strong. It's not a small number. So when you look at Senate spending, oh, I'm going to spend, like Mr. Seimer says, oh, three quarters, and almost a million dollars. Well, by the way, that's a pittance when it comes to $1.6 billion. And it's the right move in taking care of your assets, of the kids, of uh, how your buildings are. Remember that your buildings are being paid back at a 1 to 1.9% 1 ratio. You have an A plus bond rate. These things are unheard of in a poor community. Okay? So when you're